I think they should be resigned because uh, even small things like today in college we are strict about this thing. Yeah, definitely. They should resign, rather forced to resign. They're supposed to govern the country. If this is what they want to do, they can resign and sit at home and do this. Not acceptable. Absolutely not acceptable. Not acceptable, says the people of Bangalore. Joining us now, special panel, Pramila Nesarki, advocate, senior leader of the BJP. She's been part of the State Women's Commission. Dinesh Gundu Rao of the Congress Party in Karnataka. Ranjana Kumari, Director, Center for Social Research and a prominent women's activist. Suhail Seth, Managing Partner, Councilage. And Madhu Kishwar, editor who's edited Manushi, the famous women's magazine. Appreciate all of you joining us. I'm going to come to you, Pramila Nasargi, as a senior BJP leader, someone who has served on the state's Women's Commission. Do you feel today ashamed of the fact that your party men, your ministers, chose to watch porn on a mobile inside the state assembly? Why? I, I alone should be ashamed. Everyone must be ashamed of it. It is unbecoming of a leader. I mean, he, he should have, they, they should have been a role model. On the other hand, they have behaved in such a manner. These people are supposed to be doing God's work in the assembly. That's what, that's what is written on the Dhan Soda. God's work is our work. Rajdeep is also exposes the hypocrisy. Yes. You know, we see the Sang Parivar elements yes. going around and beating up women who are drinking in pubs. And this very same Minister of Women and Child Development who has been caught today, Mr. C.C. C. Patel, yes. he had made a statement about a month ago that people, women shouldn't wear jeans and shouldn't expose their skin. You know, and this is what they do, this is what they're actually doing. So they're hypocrites. Basically, the BJP is a hypocritical party. Pramila Nasargi, what happened to the party with the difference? Let's be honest. Pramila Nasargi, before I go to my other guests, just answer one simple question. Yes. When, yes. when the Sri Ram Sene activists beat up young men and women in a pub, I don't see your government taking up the issue. They remain silent. When your minister yes. says that girls must not wear short skirts, I don't see anyone raising a voice. It's ironical that the minister are looking after women in child development and the minister is looking at a gang rape in a pornographic film. I mean, these are all really, I mean, this is the lowest that our politicians can go. But at the same time, I want to know from BJP and all the, these politicians you're talking about that our minister is above the law. Just by resigning, he is exonerated of the crime that he has committed. Yes. You know, for this crime, has anybody uh, launched a fire in the Kaban Park police station against him? Are they not going to be booked under the IT Act? They have to be booked under the IT Act. They have to. Do you know the punishment for that? Five years if you are doing the crime for the first time. So if you are committing the crime for five years, you can go to jail and one lakh rupee fine. And if you repeat the offense, you can go for 10 years. Okay. Why do we have these laws? These laws are only for people, for public and ministers by just resigning or leaving the party or being thrown out of the party can be absolved of whatever okay. responsibility they have. Okay, and you isn't may... that shameful that they are watching pornographic films and, and you know these are the people who then go and... Okay. Support the rapist, for example, in Karnataka, the minister okay. has just resigned and he has really, uh, you know, given uh, shelter point. to four rapists. Okay, oh, hold, on. hold on, hold on, ma'am. Uh, hold on, you make, you make a valuable point that, that, that to whom? Who you make a valuable is? point that the law so book should be thrown. What is most important is BJP has to muster the courage yes. and register a, a complaint against them. Okay. The speaker should take, take cognizance and should put a kind of FIR which is going to be under this point. act. So that they can be really I take your point. Your, your point is well taken. Let me. People would have demanded. Your point so is well taken. If there is this duality that important people get out of it, then I think this is no rule of law in our country. Okay, you say throw the law book. Suel said, though, while we hear all this outrage being expressed, is there a hypocrisy there? See, I have three or four things to say. First, could you reduce the volume of the first speaker when she speaks? Because I just had a burst left eardrum. Let's stop being squeamish about all this. You know, we elect absolute scoundrels, some of them. Some of them are rogues, they're criminals, they're rapists. What do you expect them to see on their mobile phones if they get a chance? Are they going to go through, uh, you know, the Shastras? Are they going to study Herculean philosophy? Are they going to study Chaucer? Obviously, they'll see this here. This is what they've emerged from. You know, that's the dirt quagmire from which they've risen. So let me come to the critical issue. The critical issue is, let's not say, oh, temples of democracy. These are the same guys who are flinging microphones at each other, abusing each other, not allowing parliament or yes. legislatures to function 
suddenly we become all squeamish, oh, this is a temple of democracy, let's preserve it. The reality is, unless you stem the rot of the kind of people you elect, yes. or the kind of people these parties nominate, yes. and look, this is the tragedy. The two people from BJP and Congress yes. are being competitive about whose behavior was worse. Okay. They're not talking about good behavior. Let now they're competing you, on bad behavior. Hold on. Hold on, but, but Suhail, hold on. You know, uh, Madhu Kishwar, you know, I, I'm going to ask you the same question I asked Suhail. Before I answer that question, I'd like to come to um, what you started off with, yes. which is that the BJP doesn't take any action against the Amsene when they go about breaking skulls, beating up people, tearing women's clothes for the great crime of sitting in a pub or celebrating Valentine's Day. I think these are two sides of the same coin. And it's precisely the mindset that goes after women and mandates that they can't wear short skirts or whatever, who drool over women's bodies. They don't trust their own morals and they don't trust their own eyes and mind uh, when confronted with a woman's uncovered body that will be watching porn. So I, I don't see any contradiction. That is the kind of phobic uh, pervert that the BJP culture, the RSS no, but, culture... No, but hold on. Why, why, why the BJP? Why are you singling out the BJP only? No, here? because they make an ideal, ideological point about being defenders of the great Bhartiya Sanskriti. Now, it's quite possible that these guys went to Khajurao and they thought watching pornography is the same thing as going and worshipping and uh, admiring the temples, temple art of Khajurao, where all manners of sex uh, acts are presented. It's quite possible they were inspired no, no, but, by that uh, part no, but, of... But hold on. But, no, but we go on with this Sanskriti point. What is this great Sanskriti that we keep on... No, I, I, I want to answer this second I'm question going. about... Yeah. You said uh, pornography rightly, so also prostitution, are the most flourishing industries in India. Fine, accepted. However, there's a place for everything. You don't bring prostitutes into the parliament. You don't uh, uh, say, I believe in free sex and therefore I'm going to convert parliament into a brothel. So, I think this Ranjana Kumari's virtuous role model that she's created of politicians is equally bizarre. It all depends on the kind of people you elect. Well, well, yes. well, you, you can afford to... Ministers. One, one, one by one. Why? I have not interrupted you. Yes, go I have not interrupted you. Why? Yes, don't interrupt. Yes. Number one. Number one, do you think our ministers are not... Some of our uh, politicians are not adulterous? They are. We don't talk about it. Do you think they don't drink alcohol? You know, they do. But <clears throat> when they're serving... Uh, when they're having parties or for public uh, parties or for government functions, they don't serve alcohol. Hypocrisy is something that is a fix because we are trying to live out a role model type yes. in these politicians. Let's realize the reality. They are as crooked as they can be when yes. they want to be, depending on the kind of pedigree they emerge from. Yes. So let's not expect too much of them. And let's not also expect this whole Gandhian idealistic world to suddenly engulf us and oh, these guys are so pure and holier than thou. Okay. Some of them are worse than hoodlums. You wouldn't even trust a glass of milk with them. No, no, hold on. Forget a woman or a man. Rajdeep, there has been a minister in the BJP, former minister, who has been accused of rape. There's a present minister in the BJP who has been publicly, who has been caught uh, kissing women. And these are the people who talk about Hindutva, Sanskriti, Ram Rajya. Yes. So, and what has happened today? If something had happened in their own private space, I don't think we'll make a comment. What's happened today is it's happened on the floor of the house, in the assembly. Okay. So that's a very uh, serious uh, translation. Okay, let me... So the BJP is completely hypocritical. That's what we're trying to say over here. Okay, hold on. Uh, pr 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 just, yeah. a minute. Uh, yeah, just a minute, Madhu. Yeah. Pr pr Pramila yeah. Dasangi, what is this Bharatiya Sanskriti that we keep talking about? Do you concede that, you know, let's not be puritanical. The BJP at times talks about Bharatiya Sanskriti as if in some way they are superior to everyone else. What this incident shows, that when it comes to sexual piccadillos, we are much the same. Nobody is any different from anyone else. I just want to tell you, yes. Satyam Bruya, Priyam Bruya, Satyam Apriyam Na Bruya, that is what Bhartiya Sanskriti is. And look at the Women and Child Development Minister of Karnataka, who is supposed to be creating laws, policies, programs, to protect women, to give dignity to women. And look what he was doing inside the assembly. He was watching um, a gang rape inside the assembly. 
on his mobile. Now, this is the issue. I think I, I do not want to deflect the issue by saying what is private, what is public, what is pornography, what is not. This is what the man was doing, and yes. he was violating the law. He was he was he has, he has to be booked under the act which is called Cyber Pornography and the IT Act, right. and he cannot be because he was minister. Does not mean that. He can, you know, go above the law. He can break the law and what? go scot free. So that is the issue. Okay. He has to be punished under this law. Both okay. of them will, three of them will have to be punished under this law. Three of them will have to be punished under the law. Suen said, you know, there was a time I come back to it when the politician's attitude towards sex would not affect the standing in society. Do you believe that as a result of what has happened, it generally reflects poorly on our politicians or the way society has changed? Are we, are we a society which has suddenly become also biased and socially conservative? Or are we simply saying the act which was committed was criminal and therefore these ministers had to go? No, other than the two lawyers or one lawyer and one, you know, quoting law, I don't think the average joke gives a toss about whether they've committed a crime. It is this whole moral issue that is causing great consternation. I will just end by saying, Rajdi, to use my favorite phrase, it's not about the Congress, about the BJP, SP, whatever. Is hamam mein sab nange hai. There is a certain level of predictable bad behavior that has infected large parts of Indian politics. And it will not change unless we bring about a change by not only shaming these people, yes. but by making sure that you shame the leaders of their parties who time after time give them tickets to contest. Yeah. And end by saying, UP had its first phase of polling today. 40% of the people contesting the UP elections have a record of either rape or molestation. If these are the people you send them to the assembly, what do you think they're going to do? Sing the Janagana Mara? Okay. Obviously, they're going to look at all this. Okay, but at the end of the yeah. day, the fact is, an illegality has been committed. The BJP has been embarrassed. The political class, in a sense, has been ashamed. Has been shamed. Pramila Nasargi, Dinesh Kundu Rao, Madhu Kishwar, Suhail Seth, and Ranjana Kumari, thanks very much for joining us. What's the editor's take? Where do we stand? In the land of Kama Sutra, sexual morality has been riddled with hypocrisy and double standards. We objectify women in all kinds of ways, but will manufacture outrage every time someone is caught in the act. Yes, watching pornography in the state assembly represents a new low in public behavior. But before we rush to condemn the act, let's not forget that our state assemblies had their fair share of members with far worse criminal records. And while the ministers may have resigned, will we also act against the moral police when they take the law into the into their hands the next time.